Following my interview with the Guatemalan Vice President, I talked with Mike Evans, the man behind the Friend of Zion Award. He's rallying nations to move their embassies from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem. Mike, I didn't think that we would see you here in Guatemala, of all places, maybe in Israel. How important is this day? Very important. You know, think about it. The state of Israel was recognized first by the United States government, then Guatemala. Yes, originally. Now you had it happen again. It's prophetic. It's going to send a signal to the other nations of the earth to follow suit. And we know they're going to because we're already hearing from them. Why is that important that they do that, Mike? Well, we know as believers why it's important. You know, listen, I presented the Friends of Zion Award to the president in the Oval Office. And when I presented it to him, I said to him, Mr. President, I said, divine inspiration and light is the reason why you did this. Nine American presidents promised us they would. And when the heat was on, they wouldn't do it. They wouldn't follow through. Now, he had 72 world leaders lobby him not to do it, threatening, but he did the right thing. And this president, the same. He did the right thing. Do you think that's why we're seeing so much opposition? It's 100%. It's spiritual warfare. At that level, you've got a higher level of demons. And listen, the, the new wars are ideological wars and media wars. And the media wars are very aggressive. These are World War II wars, except they're being fought in the airwaves. And they're a battle for the minds and the hearts. And they're going to demonize everyone. Listen, they demonized Netanyahu. They demonized Donald Trump. And they also demonized this president. Anyone who maintains moral clarity and does the right thing is going to have a price to pay. How important was it that Guatemala follows suit with the U.S.? Oh, it was huge because it was the first one out of the, out of the box. The president is a bold, courageous leader. And he, I mean, he keeps his promises. The guy will do what he says he's going to do. And everybody tried to stop him, including Abdullah, which I met with. And Sisi, they all tried to stop him. Nobody succeeded in stopping him. But the question was, will any other nations follow suit? Well, Guatemala stepped up to the plate really fast and quick. Why? Believers. You got over 40% of the nation is evangelical Christians. And, and look at the president. The press president is one, the vice president, the foreign minister. These are all people of faith, and they got it quickly. What role did prayer play? How important was that in this oh, decision? Oh, 100% it happened through the power of prayer. This didn't begin in the president's office. This began in the churches. The churches rallied in Guatemala. They started interceding and touching heaven regarding this. Listen, the churches are very, very powerful in Guatemala. They are big, they're organized, they're believers, and they're very, very pro-Israel. So they united, and that wave of faith and intercession came right up to the president's office and the foreign ministers and the vice president's office, and they said yes. And Mike, uh, how should we pray now? What do we need? Where do we go from here? And how do we as believers need to pray? Listen, Jerusalem is ground zero for spiritual warfare. It's where Satan made his command and control center. I will exalt myself. It's, it's where all the battles are going to be fought. We're seeing a battle for light being fought and won. And we want to unite for light and win more battles with righteousness and godliness for the nations. And uh, right, I told the president, the greatest opportunity in my lifetime for peace with the Palestinians happened because of you, over four things. President Trump created the first Gulf Sunni alliance with the support of the Saudis, never happened before. For the peace process, 100%. He, he established a zero poli policy for terror in the PA. He will not fund terror, zero funding for terror anymore. Third, Zero tolerance for Jew hatred in the UN. And fourth, he took the soul of the Jew, Jerusalem, off the negotiating table. By doing that, he's given an opportunity for the first time ever for peace with the Palestinians. And I actually believe it's going to happen. How long of a process? I think that uh, the Palestinian peace process could, could take a couple years, but I don't think it's going to take a couple decades. I think now they understand. They understand they can't game the system anymore. Listen, it was totally corrupt. It was totally corrupt. 
and the Palestinians were being exploited. Not anymore. It's a zero-sum game now. They understand the rules of engagement. They can have support, but they can't play the terror card anymore. And they're not going to get East Jerusalem. It's off the table. Listen, it's, it's the perfect deal for the state of Israel, the perfect deal for the Palestinians. I think you're going to see it. I think you're going to see it actually happen during Trump's term.